Today we have a fabulous Dollar Tree haul for you all. I was just looking for those to haul for our friends. You ate them all? No, I swear I haven't had one. Who, Who ate, ate them? them? Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3, so welcome. I am going to jump right into this brand new Dollar Tree haul. I hope you don't go anywhere and you come along with me. So what do you say? Let's go. share I was so excited I found more of these aren't they gorgeous now guys I think what the trick is is where I found these is in the aisle with all the glasses so not in any of the aisles at my Dollar Tree that has the plastics like uh with the bathroom or the storage because see they literally look like glass they're that like crystallized plastic so they are plastic and um, maybe when they put them out they thought they looked like glass I don't know but I found these fully stocked all next to like the Irish coffee glasses the wine glasses so if you're interested in these check the glass aisle at your Dollar Tree and hopefully you will score them also so now I have a set of three and I'm going to show you why I wanted these because I have this uh, Target um, tiered tray here and look at this the height is just perfect so I'm either going to use this in my kitchen or in my bathroom but I was just so excited that they fit awesomely and this is just one of those uh, five dollar uh, lazy Susan tiered trays that I had picked up at Target so now I did get this let me show you the bottom I have to say though guys I think I got this tiered tray last year um, so I'm not sure if they're still five dollars or not but it's the lazy Susan one so I was just really pleased um, to score two more of those all right, the next thing that we picked up are these. These are the Little Dutch Made Almond Windmill Cookies. Um, we really love these, and I got to tell you, the Aldi's also sells some um, almond cookies. They are more expensive, and, you know, those are good too, but these Dollar Tree ones for buck twenty-five, I think are fabulous. Both Bill and I love these you get uh, 10 ounces in here little dutch made they are made in the usa so i love buying my snacks and my cookies at the dollar tree i don't think you can beat it speaking of which look what else i got the palmer bells oh this is so nostalgic for my childhood um, I will never forget it was the best day of math class ever when I was in fifth grade the teacher uh, had a bag of chocolate bells and a bag of chocolate balls from Palmer and he had two students go around and to each desk ask us if we wanted a bell or a ball and of course I was such a shy quiet kid I softly said bell and I got a ball so and I didn't say oh I meant bell so um, I ate my Palmer chocolate ball <laughs> gladly but so I did grab a package of the bells 
I mean, look at just the graphic on the package. It's just so vintage and fun. It's, I am saying this all the time that I am a sucker for packaging. Now, I have said this also before that Palmer is chocolate flavored candy, so um, you're not getting like 100% cocoa bean or anything like that. It is chocolate flavored candy. I know not everybody is a fan of it, but if you like it, Dollar Tree is the place you can find it. And then also, let's see, I have, I'm sure, more in here. Why, yes, I do. The Palmer Double Crisp. And these are wrapped in all fun little uh, festive foil designs. They're the shape of coins, but they have a nice thickness to them. And you get five ounces in this and so each little coin is wrapped really festively so we grabbed those and that is by Palmer too and then I got let's see what else we have Ooh, this oh I was so excited to find this these are the four little mini milk chocolate bars okay and these are made in Poland. They're uh, imported from Germany. Two bars, so each little bar is 80 calories a piece. But just look at the adorableness. This is like, to me, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer themed one because you have the reindeer there. He's got the red nose, Santa, a snowman, and a Christmas tree. Just so Fun. You could give this exactly how it is packaged like this, put it in a mug or in a stocking. Or what I like to do is I'll open this outer packaging up and then four people will get a little chocolate bar treat. So my Dollar Tree brings those out. Um, typically you can find them at Easter and Valentine's Day too. But sometimes you got to do a little bit of hunting. Oh, and this is another one of my favorite products. These are by Sunbest. They're 90 calories, the Fiber Boost Chocolate. My Dollar Tree also has them in Zesty Lemon, which is super delicious. Um, I love to bring these to work as a snack. And this is what it looks like so they're all individually packaged and so you can see you know it's about the size of a brownie so not super huge but not bad um, you do just get three in here I have to say I wish you'd at least get four so you do get three in there but really tasty so I picked those up for myself and in fact I'll probably eat one very shortly Oh, and then I also found this. Look at this. Strawberry citrus. And this is that sparkling ice drink. Now, I buy that all the time in the bottles. And I buy the brand name um, ice. Or I get, like, the one from Aldi's, the one from Walmart. All of the, like, what I'll call knockoff ones because they're much cheaper. But this one, I guess, is that plus caffeine and so it's in a can and I know when I showed this in one of my previous walkthroughs you all shared with me that yes Shelby that is a delicious drink you should definitely get it many of you liked it more than even the stuff in the plastic bottles so I did pick this one up strawberry citrus I think sounds really yummy now so it says it has 70 milligrams of caffeine for uh, each can. So five calories in it, but 70 milligrams of caffeine. And if any of you are like me right now, I have so much to do on my to-do list. I cannot believe we are like, you know, what, less than a week away from Christmas. It's insane. So I'm sure I'm gonna need that caffeine boost. So I grabbed that for myself. And then I go through a ton of this, and this is the 
wax paper and this one is um, microwavable you get 65 square feet on there I think personally for a dollar 25 in my area that's a good deal now this is wax paper not parchment paper the Dollar Tree or my Dollar Tree definitely sells parchment paper too which I highly recommend that I use for baking in fact just uh, two nights ago I made brownies um, and I used the parchment paper in my vintage glass uh, like Pyrex brownie pan. They came out fabulous and let me tell you it was a brand new brownie recipe that I tried. Um, maybe some of you are familiar with the channel Dorset Doorstep. Um, Erica, oh uh, she does uh, like homemaking uh, just really fun like a vlog channel and uh, she did this recipe where she used a boxed brownie mix so that's right up my alley and then she doctored it up with a package of the Swiss Miss that comes from the Dollar Tree hot cocoa replaced the uh, my mix is three tablespoons of water so she said instead of using water use milk so three tablespoons that's like cost effective and then the typical oil and eggs just follow the uh, recipe on the box and then she added chocolate chips and of course I used my Dollar Tree chocolate chips and are they like fudgy and oh so so good so you can just get your uh brownie mix again at the Dollar Tree throw in that packet of hot cocoa some of you have recommended to me using the little Dollar Tree instant packs of instant coffee in your brownies I've done that too so it's really fun to experiment doctoring up boxed brownie mix but so in any case I know I kind of went off on a tangent but I love to get like my paper products my wax paper my tin foil my uh, plastic wrap all of that good stuff at the Dollar Tree so I needed that I got that oh and then um, Bill actually found these and so he picked these up for himself because he loves doing crossword puzzles word searches he is just newly into trying Sudoku and so I don't know about the rest of you but I'm definitely with him on this that a mechanical pencil is the way to go if you can because otherwise if I'm using a regular leaded pencil I want that point like super sharp it's just like my thing and it dulls really quick so that I don't have to keep sharpening it I love these mechanical pencils and these are the ones with the comfort grip there so that has that soft grip so if you have like calluses or even a little bit of arthritis or something you know too it can be kind of hard to uh, for a long time have a good grip on like a number two like leaded pencil so these mechanical pencils give you that little extra like girth and with this soft grip makes it a little bit more comfortable for writing um, because I don't know about the rest of you but when I do a crossword puzzle or a Sudoku puzzle I'm working on it for quite some time that is not something that I am like you know uh, ripping out in <laughs> two minutes getting it done no I gotta work at it a little while same thing with Bill so we're holding our pencil for a bit so we really like these and you get five mechanical uh, pencils in this package and it is by Greenbrier so I thought that was a really good find by Bill and then oh what else did we get in here oh and I grabbed one of these now I have probably purchased this little thermometer at the Dollar Tree about four times because it seems like lately somebody is always needing a thermometer um, there you know sadly there's so many flus and colds going around the kids in school getting sick so this is the digital thermometer you can see it there it does come with the battery in it so um, 
when somebody needs it, you know, I have it to give away. We certainly have a couple in our house too, and I just obviously you have to put it in your mouth. So I do clean it with um, alcohol uh, pads, you know, those little wipes. But that I think is a great find at the Dollar Tree, and I'm really pleased that this is a product that always seems to be available at my Dollar Tree. Oh, and I also wanted to mention to you guys, in case you missed it, and what I'll tr do is at the end of this video, if you watch to the end and, you know, those little boxes like come up to watch this next that you can click on, what I will do is link my um, 2022 Christmas home tour because and I know that's not you know everybody's cup of tea if you're here for Dollar Tree content and you don't necessarily want to see that but those of you that do and I do use a uh, Dollar Tree decor in my home too besides all of our like very eclectic uh, collection of Christmas decorations that have passed through numerous generations of my family and Bill's family, but I will link that at the end of this video because I did upload that on Saturday night. And right now I have some more fabulous festive viewer friend photos to share with you all so stick around for that and um, I also will right now wish you all a very wonderful day and remember my friends until next time please be well